What's going on YouTube? This is Ryan Henderson coming from Just a Tech Guy. I want to welcome to you to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I just want to go over how to set up your Google Chrome Ultra Chromecast. Um, Google was Google has sent a free Google Studio Premium Edition to everybody who was a YouTube Premium subscriber. Um, so the offer is not going on right now, but I do just see there is offer to get it free with the order of Cyberpunk 2077. So if you still want to get a free one and that's the game you're looking forward to, they are giving away if you pre-order it on Google Stadia or if not, um, I believe it's from December the 10th to December the 17th. I'll put a link to that in the description below. So if that's something you guys are interested in, you can check it out. So right now I'm going to get started on how to set up your Google Chrome Ultra Chromecast. So I want to go to my Google Home app, go up to add. Oh, actually, it's right here. Set up Chromecast Ultra. So I'm going to touch on that instead. Home. Uh, oh, make sure my Bluetooth turned on. And let's see. Hopefully, it finds it pretty quick. Um, don't want to stop that. Alrighty, oh, so cool. Found it. So I'm going to hit yes to go ahead and get started. And for whatever reason, if you didn't say set up, there's a notification. You can set it up through that there. It says set up a nearby Chromecast device. So that's just another way you can set it up if you don't, if it doesn't work this way. So we'll get that a few minutes to go. Alrighty, looks like it connected. And I do see that code on my TV. So I'm gonna hit hit yes. And agree. Uh, I'll just say yes, I'm in. It's in my man cave. Connect to my Wi Fi network. And I'm recording my phone screen right now, but you'll see this same kind of thing on a TV. So it tells you it's connecting. So what's this one on my phone? You also see it on the TV. Alrighty, and it's connected. Go ahead, and next. No, go ahead, and next down here. I don't have any radio service to link, so I'm hitting next. Go ahead, and next. Oh, almost done. Yep. That's up, hit continue and the Stadia controller. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up. It's going to take me to Stadia because I already have it on the phone and it's going to give me a code. There's a link. So I'm going to turn my Stadia controller on and enter that code into the controller. And it should take some time here because on uh, controller you can't see it, but it'll vibrate a couple times once it's connected. So it says link. Uh, see, I don't think I need to do that. Oh, okay. So I got it linked already, so I shouldn't have to do that again. And I should be all set. And that's it. That's everything you need to do to get started with setting up with Google Stadia. And you'll get your Chromecast Ultra set up. As you can see right here, I can say this screen or my TV. If I hit that, it's going to go to my TV and it'll show up there. And there will also be a code to link it on the TV. Um, maybe I'll do that part in another video so you guys can see what it looks like on the TV. But for now, that's how you get it set up on control. That's how you set up your Stadia. So um, if you have a Google Stadia or you plan on getting one soon, that's how you can go and get it set up. And I appreciate everyone today watching this video. And if you've got something other video, if it helps you out anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below where you're able to get the Google Study if do your YouTube premium subscription, were you able to get it free? What's your thoughts about it thus far? What do you think about Google Stadia? I'll be trying out. It almost plays just as good as as it does on my PlayStation. So it seems to work pretty well so for the most part. So that's all I got for now. Again, don't forget to like or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I appreciate you guys supporting the channel, taking a look at it, watching my video. And I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. So um, that's all I got for now. So 